everyone, Amber from the Vault here. Welcome back to a little bit more of the Outer Worlds. We're gonna go ahead and just jump right back into it. So I'll see you back in just a sec. All right, here we go. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. What? Okay. You're anticipating. You. Of course, I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it, embrace it, work with it. You're in control here, Parvati, not the gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life, and you're always in control, right? I guess that's kind of like when the filler's shooting 600 cans of near molten cell tuna down the conveyor while I'm trying to tune a belt. Here, stand like me, just so. Hip square, lean forward a little. It's just equipment, and you're just an engineer using it. Okay. We'll try again later. You'll get it. I promise. She's been using a gun this entire time. Hey, Cap. I'm still not quite sure what to make of that Max fellow. Sometimes he reminds me of Anders. And the way he stares at things, as if he's gonna dismantle them. Shit. Look at me dredging up bygone days. Forget I said anything. Don't push it, Captain. Uh-oh. I don't think she wants me to push it. Okay. Well. Um, nope. Not gonna fix all of those. Uh, Bravada, you know how to shoot a gun. We've been doing it. Granted, you do have a tendency to go more for the... Anybody in my room? Just making sure. Nope. You do have a tendency to go for melee. Okay. Who is causing problems? He's got Christmas lights. Oh, I love him. Oh. That's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh, not so into the sweetheart cakes that are molded, but, you know. Hmm. Well, you're quietly in your room. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity. Oh, something vexing blah, you, blah, blah. No, nothing. That scared me. Watch your step on Monarch. It's not just the monsters and sulfur pits you gotta look out for. I admire your grit, but some wounds don't heal. And I say that as someone who's plugged a few severed aortas. Ginger chops and the pencil pusher. By all accounts, Sanjar and Graham have been at each other's throats for years. Digging into their personal history isn't going to change anything. Honestly, stay out of it. We've got our own problems to deal with. I try to save my captain a headache when I can. Usually ends up saving me one too. Hey, I'm the doctor here. That means I'm supposed to be the one nosing into your business. Anyway, I can take a hint. You stay out of mine, and I'll stay out of yours. Anything else? Okay, so far no one's causing any trouble, so I guess it was just those two. I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. It makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? Yeah, maybe you're right. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? I'm sure Graham told himself the same thing. He wasn't the one who held the gun and pulled the trigger. All he did was turn a key. The thing is, that's all it takes. Sometimes the difference between right and wrong is turning a key, or looking the other way, or keeping your mouth shut when you ought to speak up. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. Didn't know you looked up to him, but thanks for, uh, informing me that you do. Anyone in the bathroom? No? That would be weird, because I would have opened the door on you. Alright, I guess it was just those two. So, never mind, then... For a second, I thought Sam was itching his butt. Dust accumulation analysis. Two, 
8.5 years. Ew. Cool. All right. So that should be it. Let's get the heck out of here and go deal with our actual mission. I haven't been on the ship very much, and I also haven't changed out my crew very much. And I don't know if I want to. Is that what they say? Really? Cool. I'm not sure that is what they say, but all right. Here we go. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Cool. Thanks. Uh, feeling a little uncertain about this, though. Remember that you are not insured. Uh, gotcha. I guess I should take different crew members. I just like the crew that I already have. And I'm not a big Felix fan, if I'm honest. Um, I guess I'll take... Here. Uh, I guess we'll take Naoko. And... Uh, I don't like Felix. Ellie's fine. I guess. I guess! I don't know! I feel like I should mix it up, but at the same time... You know, you pick who you like. It's like always taking Garrison Rex. Because that's who you should always take. Should always be Garrison Rex. But, you know. Just saying. Everybody's got their thing. I don't know. I feel like for this one, though, maybe there's a little less. Because it's just a ship. But when we go back to Monarch... Because we're not done, obviously, on Monarch. Maybe we should take Felix to go meet Graham. Maybe he'll try to murder him. Who knows? Hi! I believe I stole everything from you once. Hello! Hi, everybody. I don't have to talk to you again, right? I can just, like, power through. Alright. I did just notice that I think most of your companion choices are... Your human companion choices are female. Interesting. Unbelievable how good it is. Ugh. Alright, here we go. Sublight. I hate that symbol. Or that, uh, not symbol. That logo. It's such a weird look. Alright. It's just ugly. Hi! You both look extremely pleased to be here. Alright. Hello! That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. 120-some cubic meters of it. At a million bits a pop. Take this. You've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. Hmm. No one you saw, anyway. Glad to see you're looking out for yourself. You've been keeping busy. I hear you took on some extra work at Fallbrook. Catherine says the factory needs some repairs before it's back to working order. But at least it's under our control. Hey, when you were at the slaughterhouse, those swine didn't give you any... strange looks, did they? I knew it. <laughs> I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know? I've got a lot on my mind, but it's nothing that concerns you. At least, not yet. I have another job lined up. Assuming you're still interested in work, you're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? Looking to expand, huh? Fallbrook ain't big enough for you? This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Uh, do I have to kill any pigs? Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. I'm being smart. Try it sometime. Oh! I'm on the heels of something big. 
Play your cards right, uh -oh. and I'll clue you in. But right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. Okay. Well. Cool. So we got a new job. Uh, that's pretty much all we had to do here. Do do do. Oh, we had some good music for a little bit there. Hi, contractors. Bye, contractors. I shouldn't have asked questions. I regret that. Oh, you still have things I could take. Ooh. Itching to whack someone over the head? We can help with that. Yeah, I do that a lot. Okay. Um, I don't know if I should mess with buying anything because it's not going to be any good. I mean, I got some pretty good stuff already. Do I really need anything else? I don't think so. Hi. Oh, man. I don't know quite what to do. Go back to Monarch. I think that's our only option right now. Like, our real only option. Hi. Hmm? 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 Nope, that's okay. I think we'll go back to Monarch for now, just because I wasn't finished there, and that's what I remember right now. <laughs> I don't like leaving areas and then having to come back later, because I always forget what the hell I was doing there. Plus, I feel like I know Monarch right now, but I'm going to be honest, I, I feel like I can't do it with another crew. I feel like I need my crew. They've got the best stuff. The, the, the people I know, our styles match up. Plus, I just love Parvati and I like Vicar Max. There's something about Vicar Max that I think he's grown on me. <laughs> At first, I was like, I don't know. I don't like no priesty thingies, dudes. Uh, but... <sighs> Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. There's something about him that's kind of funny. <laughs> I think because he wants to... I don't know. He's got that, like, hard edge, and I like that. Are they in here? Young Millstone. Aha. You look pensive. Young Millstone. I don't know what that means, but I've been thinking. It ain't easy carrying a torch for the Rangers. I understand. The Rangers' victories are your victories. Their defeats are likewise crushing. You serious? Wow, Max. Never expected you'd understand. This may come as a surprise to you, Felix, but I understand what it is to be a fan. That's so. You know something? Maybe I was wrong about you. To be a fan is to cultivate a mental disorder. You're living vicariously through a tossball team. Nah, I was right the first time. You're a git, Max. <laughs> I love Max even more now! <laughs> oh, I too don't like sports. <laughs> As always, I am at your disposal. Mm. Anything you'd like to discuss? I don't know, but there's a small part of me that wants to call you daddy. Sorry. Anyway. Hey, got a hypothetical for you? You got a friend, see? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then one day, they up and vanished. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the aether. What's going through your head? <laughs> you got the wrong idea, boss. It ain't like that. Guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent. Is he gay? I mean, I'm okay with that. Clyde's waiting for us on Scylla. What he's doing on an asteroid, I can't begin to imagine. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. Mm-hmm. I want to go to Monarch first. Do we have to go to Scylla? I think I have come to the conclusion that none of these are timed. Thankfully. I don't think anything's timed in here. Thank God, because, gotta be honest... Kind of sick of things being timed. Uh, if we're here, though, we might as well go to Phineas's lab. Um, We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Yeah. I don't really like games that do have time limits, I guess. 
They make me feel nervous. I want I want my team. I'm sorry. I just I love them. I love them so much. Um, the time limit makes me negotiate with Sprats for territory. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. They just make me feel nervous. You know, it's just I don't know. There's something about. Uh... <sighs> anyway, I I'm talking too much. I'm talking too much over the loading screens when I should just be can or uh, turning it off and not even bothering. I love that little drawing of a sprat though. It's so cute. I kind of want a pet sprat. Wonder if I'll ever be able to get one. Hello. You, I'd clap you on the shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. If I had time in several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but... Dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. Oh, I understand it must seem impossible to you. Infiltrate Byzantium. The crown jewel of the colony. Steal a batch of rare chemicals from a heavily guarded estate. In order to do the impossible, you must first divide it into a series of smaller, less impossible tasks. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. You'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. There's something about being discontinued due to severe adverse reactions. It's fine. You'll be stealing the chemicals, not ingesting them. You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? <sighs> okay. Um. That sissy pig have a name? Bubbles! Where are we headed? Hmm. Nope. I thought maybe you guys would have something to say. Um. Do you trust this freak? I don't think I do. I feel real weird about him. You know? Hi, Bubbles. Ugh. You guys are so gross looking. Anyway, uh, I, hmm. I'm worried about you, dude. I just think that maybe this is all bad. And maybe you're a bad guy. I mean, he looks crazy. You know what I mean? Welcome aboard. 
others are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating. You... Again? I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend? You think I could hire myself out to ships in need someday? Be my own mechanic, like how Ellie's her own doctor? I wonder sometimes. Can we talk? Mm. Hey, got a favor to ask you. Of course you do. Next time we're in the Monarch Wilderness, I'd like to stop in on an old friend of mine. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. Well, we'll see about that. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But for this, I need help. Logistically, because it's dangerous. Emotionally, because it's dangerous. You know what? Never mind, Captain. You find your way out of your own asshole? Come try talking about this again, all right? Hey, Cap. Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, with the family we once were. I saw it happen. Hell, one of them was in my arms at the time. His name was Hayes, and he's our first stop. I buried him away from our encampment. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then, we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. Everyone wants my help. Why not? All right. I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Yes. Here's why. I... Um... I'll be honest. I don't know. Warning dangerous. Um, I don't know if we shouldn't. Uh, here's the thing. He seems crazy. And I feel like I'm preparing myself for an Atlas type of, uh, oh god, who do I give up? Parvati or Vicar Max? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I have to make decisions now. Oh! Who do I take with us then? Do I go crazy? Okay, let's just go crazy then, I guess. Um, oh. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too. I love you, just know. You'll always be my favorites. Alright, here we are. We landed in Fallbrook. Sweet. I don't know either of you that well, and I'll be honest, I already miss Vicar Max. Yes, I'll admit it. I think I... I think I, uh... Well, I don't think. I know that he's gonna end up being the guy in this game. I don't even know. I think you can... Oh, wait. There's my armor. I said I couldn't show it to you guys before. I think you can... Is there romancing in this game? I'm gonna be honest. I don't actually know. <laughs> I forgot. It's been that long. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Off to the journal. Okay. So, I want to change it by the planet. Okay. Canaan's Cradle. Um, we're going to do that one last. Let's do flowers for Sebastian first. And then whatever whatever she wants us to do. Because apparently we're supposed to be on Monarch for her. So... I'm gonna be honest, I'm not 100% sure how to say her name. Nyoka? My brain wants to say Nyoko, just because I know someone with that name. Just the way it is. Hey everyone, 
thank you so much for watching me play The Outer Worlds. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, do all the YouTube things, as well as go ahead and click on some of the random things that are on your screen. There might be a couple videos, maybe a playlist. I don't know. I put it all in and post. Other thing that will be on your screen, though, I can guarantee you, is a picture of my big dumb face. Click on that. That will allow you to subscribe to the channel, and you can also click that bell icon if you'd like to be notified every time I put up a new video. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys, but I do want to let you know that you can always talk to me here in the comments, but you can also check me out over on Twitter at Amber from the Vault, spelled the same way as here, no E in the, no O in from. There's also some information in the description here if you'd like to know how you can help out the channel. Keep good games coming on here. We're going to go ahead and get out of here, though, guys. I will see you in the next one, and I'm so excited to play more of this game, so see you in a bit.